In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert from one type of concentration into another type of concentration. More specifically, how to convert from parts per million to molarity. So let's begin. First, we need to understand what this type of concentration represents. Parts per million is to represent solutions with very low concentrations. And here's the formula to get the concentration in parts per million. It's the grams of solute divided by the mass in grams of solution times 10 to the 6. Now in this example, we have a solution concentration of 840 parts per million. So we can represent this in terms of grams of solute with respect to grams of solution. 840 parts per million is equal to 840 grams of solute which in this case, the solute is sodium hydroxide, divided by 1 million or 10 to the 6 grams of solution. So this expression here is equivalent to a sodium hydroxide concentration of 840 ppm. We're going to use this representation of 840 ppm in this problem. It will help us to convert from 840 ppm to the answer that we need in molarity. Now keep in mind, molarity is equal to the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. So in order to convert from ppm, we need to convert from grams of solute to moles of solute. And we need to use the molar mass of NaOH to do that. Now to convert from grams of solution to liters of solution, we need the density of the solution. So that's how we're going to convert from grams of solution to liters of solution. So let's begin. Let's start with this information, our solution concentration. So instead of writing 840 parts per million, we're going to write 840 grams of sodium hydroxide per 1 million grams of solution. Now let's convert from grams to moles. So we need the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. Thus, we need to add the atomic weights of each of the three elements using the periodic table. So according to the periodic table, the atomic weight of sodium is 22.99. The atomic weight of oxygen is 16. And for hydrogen, it's 1.008. So 22.99 plus 16 plus 1.008, that's going to be 39.998. But since 840 is such a, a nice round number, let's round the molar mass to 40. So it's 40 grams per mole. So what this means is that one mole of sodium hydroxide has a mass of approximately 40 grams. So now we can cancel the unit grams of NaOH. So we have the first part. We now have the moles of solute. Now we need to use the density of the solution to convert from grams of solution to some unit of volume. The density is 1.05 grams per milliliter. So this means that 1.05 grams of solution is equal to or equates to a volume of one milliliters of solution. So now we can cross out grams of solution. Now what we need to do is we need to get liters of solution. So we need to convert from milliliters to liters. One liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. So we can put a thousand milliliters on top and one liter of solution on the bottom. So now we can cross out milliliters. So this is gonna give us our answer because we now have the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. So let's do the math. So it's gonna be 840 divided by one times 10 to the six, and then take that divided by 40, and then multiply that by 1.05 times 1,000. 
So basically, you need to multiply by all of the numbers on top and divide by the numbers on the bottom. So the answer that I got is 0 0.022 M or 0 0.022 moles of solute per liters of solution. So that's how you can go from parts per million to molarity. Now what about working backwards? Well, let's try an example problem of how we can go back from molarity to parts per million. Number two, a 0 0.004 molar potassium iodide solution has a density of 1.03 grams per milliliter. What is the concentration of this solution in ppm? Now, if you want to pause the video and see if you can get the answer here, feel free to do so. And then play the video uh, when you're ready to see the solution. So go ahead, take a minute, grab a sheet of paper, and try this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the units of molarity. But we're not going to write it as 0.004m. Because molarity is moles of solute per liters of solution. So we're going to write it as 0 0.004 moles of Ki per 1 liter of solution. In our next step, we're going to convert from moles of Ki to grams of Ki. And in order for us to do that, we need the molar mass of Ki. According to the periodic table, potassium has an atomic mass of 39.1. Iodine has an atomic mass of 126.9. Adding these two numbers together, we get a molar mass of 166 grams per mole. So one mole of Ki has a mass of 166 grams. So that's the first step, converting moles of solute to grams of solute. Now remember, the parts per million formula is grams of solute divided by grams of solution times 10 to the 6. So in this conversion process, we need to get these two things. We already have grams of solute on top, as we could see here. So the first part is complete. The next thing we need to do is get grams of solution on the bottom. Once we have that, we're just going to multiply whatever we have at that point by 10 to the 6. So I'm just going to keep that there for now. So what we need to do is convert liters of solution to grams of solution. That's what we need to focus on. And we could use a density to do that. But we got to convert liters of solution to milliliters. And we know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So now this disappears. Now that we have the volume in milliliters, we can now use the density of the solution. So one milliliter of the solution has a mass of 1.03 grams of solution. Now, we have the grams of solute, which is good, but we also have the grams of solution on the bottom. So now that we have grams of solute over grams of solution, all we need to do is multiply that result by 10 to the 6. So we're going to add 10 to the 6 at the end. So now let's do the math. Don't forget, we need to multiply by the numbers on top and divide by the numbers on the bottom. So it's going to be 0 0.004 times 166, and then divide that by 1,000, and then divide that result by 1.03, and then multiply by 1 times 10 to the 6. So you should get this answer. I'm going to write it over here. 644.7 parts per million. So this is the concentration 
of the KI solution in PPM. So now you know how to convert from molarity to PPM. Now let's say if you want to convert from molarity to PPB, what would you do? It's important to understand that one PPM is equal to a thousand parts per billion. So all you need to do is take this answer and multiply by a thousand and you can get the solution concentration in PPB or instead of using 10 to the 6 you could use 10 to the 9 and get the concentration in PPB because the formula for PPB is it's equal to the grams of solute divided by the mass of the solution in grams but instead of times 10 to the 6 it's simply times 10 to the 9 because a billion is 10 to the 9 a million is equal to 10 to the 6. So that's the extra step that you need to take into account if you want to go from molarity to PPB instead of PPM.